actually indeed. Do you need your laser? No. I need my iPad. That's more The team are breaking up today. <laughs> Divide and conquer. That's the key. Yeah. Ellie's going to do some sanding. I'm going to do some wood cutting going at the workshop. And I'll see you at lunchtime. See you for lunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm rocking the top knot today. Um, so yes, Ben is off to the unit today to cut some wood for the floor. I'm gonna head down and carry on sanding. It's not very exciting to watch, but it's making enough noise down there, babe. Um, yeah, I spent most days sanding yesterday. I'm going to attempt to finish it today. I've got half of the starboard. <laughs> I've got half of the starboard um, side of the boat to do, and then I'm going to go back to the port side and do under the floor because it's really disgusting down there. Um, okay, say bye to Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. being on my own today um, and it's such a beautiful day today so <laughs> I'm like ah I just want to be outside but it makes me happier sun just makes everything better doesn't it I think especially when you live in the UK <laughs> any sun is good it does mean though that it's getting hotter so inside here is getting a lot warmer especially having to put the boiler suit on so <sighs> it's hot work so at the moment I am using a 60 grit sanding disc. This fiberglass here, especially this bit, because it's sort of slightly coming off, it's gumming up the disc. So I'm going through them quite quickly. It seems to be quite a good grit for it. It's coming off quite easily, but not too quickly. So I will continue with that. It's very grimy down there. So I'm hoping I can get the rest of this off with this one though, I will need to change this one now, but with a 60 grit, then I'll move on to a 36, potentially to go down there and get the bottom of the boat looking a little better than it does now, which is gross. Yeah, so let's crack on and let's see what issues I come across today. Hopefully none. Toothed up now, I'm already absolutely covered in it. Whilst I'm sanding my life away, Ben is at the unit speedily but accurately cutting down our huge sheets of wood that will not fit in the car, ready to be brought back to the boat. We'll cut exact shapes for the floor pieces for both the galley and the nav area there. These masks, they give you such a dent in your face. Wow. I have finished the starboard side and I'm gonna move on to the port side underneath the floor. So I've given it a good hoover just to get all the little bits and grime off of it before I start sanding, otherwise it'll just get, it'll just grime up the sanding disc. Um, already looks a lot better, but I'm going to try and get all of this grime off. Um, I'm going to go straight in with the 36 grit because I think it might need it. Let's go. Cool. Luckily, I was right. 36 grit to grind away the grime was perfect, as this satisfying time lapse will show you. My fingers are fizzing again. Such a funny feeling. <laughs> Look who's back! How did you get on? Cut everything I wanted to cut. Had a good time in the, in the process, which is important. <laughs> okay, hand me the wood, babe. Tip 
buy a really big boat and there's more space. I'm gonna do what I can with the shard of wood. I'm gonna attempt tracing the edge of this to get the curvature of the hull to see if I can do that a bit easier. And then while I'm doing that, I think Ellie is going to sand this last little bit down here. This little chunk of grime. State night tonight. Can't wait. Let's go to the cinema. <laughs> I hope you can hear me, there's a lot going on today. We've got the pressure washing going off over there for the boats being hauled out. Ellie's down below, grinding her life away. Went to the workshop yesterday and I cut out the rough templates for the flooring that we're gonna use. I'm using 12 mil marine ply. I did the starboard floor under the galley. Um, I did it off camera because I just wanted to get it done, whip through it, see if the system that I was using was gonna work, and it did. So I'm gonna do exactly the same for the port side one, so I'll talk you through it as I go. I feel really nervous, there's loads of people around today, and I'm, this is my first time like talking to camera when there's loads of other people around, and people are staring, and I hate it, but this is our life now. Before, when I've put things against the hull, I've done the scribing with the set square and the pencil, I'm cheating with this one. The floor that came up has actually got a fairly decent hull line already cut into it and it was right up against it. So I'm just gonna transfer that onto here. The floor is in terrible condition. The wood is rotted, it's damp, it's horrible, which is, which is the reason why we're replacing it. But it's also, it means it's very difficult to work with. Who's there? Huh? Guys, I was just getting a screwdriver out the back and I did something bad. A broken mirror. Uh oh. She broken that mirror. She's got about seven years of sanding ahead of her, so that, that's probably enough. Right, I've got to be very careful. This is the flooring that I've taken up. It's all individually slatted, so it will just easily come apart. You can probably see how wobbly that is. Lots of rusty nails sticking through as well, which is always good. This is the top of the board. So this board is exactly in its position that it's gonna go in. It's literally just gonna lift up here and go down here. And now I want to transfer this curvy edge onto this board. First things first, I'm gonna line this edge up with this edge of the 12 mil. I'm just gonna take a quick measurement from these sides, just make sure it's relatively straight. 37, 37, okay. So that's actually pretty much bang on. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a rough line down now. Like that. That is just to basically idiot proof it for me because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this off, flip the board around and then put this back on upside down so that the long edge that we need is gonna be tight up against the board so I can scribe it. Oh, let's hope it stays in one piece. Okay, that's come apart. My life. Right, so basically do exactly the same again but I flip the board upside down so that this edge is really flat up against there so I can get nice and tight. What I'll do is I'll bring it back to 37 just so it's accurate. I don't trust myself working upside down. So now I can look under the board and I can see the line that should basically trace this shape, but just under the board. Now, time to jigsaw. And guess what? Here's what I've been up to. Shocker. Just taking a quick break. It's so warm. Oh, that breeze is nice. Ben is finishing the flooring for all under the galley and under where the nav table was. He thinks he's gonna get all that done today. Maybe that's where it cuts in. Just straighten it up. There. All right, let's jig. Okay, so I've now, it's actually just started to rain. All the raindrops have uh, started to coagulate all the uh, sawdust on the deck, so that's good. 
I think once I'm back inside and Ellie's finished sanding, what we could really do is, is a really good downpour to wash the deck. So fingers crossed for that, just not quite yet. Yes, it's gone quite well. I've got a good chamfered edge on this end now. On the port side one that I did, I actually slipped with the grinder twice, putting some little nicks into the edge. I managed to avoid doing that this time. So that's a really good, that's a good progress, I think. So these two pieces that I've done, the port and starboard, galley and nav table flooring are the trickiest bits that we've got to do. So I'm glad these are out of the way. I just need to now off these up, line them up, trim the inside edges, and then all the others should just fit into place. I do need to cut the square around where the engine will sit as well. But again, I'll get these two pieces in, I'll get the center pieces in, and then I'll do that piece last. That's pretty good. We have a floor. I'm pretty chuffed with that actually. It's five o'clock now. I'm gonna spend the next hour. I'm just gonna give this place a really big tidy and put tools away because everything's got a bit chaotic over the last few days. So it'd be good. Clear all this space so we can have a look. Now I've got the whole floor down. It'd be great to see it clear so we can assess it properly. I'm going to work for about an hour and then call it a day. I hope I've got some cider in, that's for sure. I'm a bit of an organisation and using these cupboards that we were going to cut out that are part of the galley. I've now separated them into a little glove compartment, PPE, frequently used tools in this area and a charging station for tools and camera equipment. It's actually quite satisfying and it saves us having to trounce in here through all the hazards into this. There's like a bit of PP down there, a bit of tools over there. It is an absolute disgrace in here. So the, the less I have to come in here, the better. So after a lot of tinkering, we have a much cleaner bilge and bar our cabin, which we're leaving until a bit later, we have the first layer of our floor. There's still a lot of epoxying, priming and painting to do before the underside up to the flooring is completely prepped for aesthetics and all things we're actually going to see. But that's all to come on Sailing Run Punch. Stay tuned for more episodes every other Thursday at 6pm. See you then. This is insane. You've probably got so much footage of this, but... I want to see it from being present. Oh god. We have a whole new floor! Pop that bit. I'm proud of you! I'm proud of you! This is awesome!